doing a video today on a great little device called a scotch lock connector and it's used for connecting wires together. So instead of having to strip the wire back and connect them up and using marats or something like that, what you do is you take the scotch lock connector which has little holes in it for the wires that you're going to connect and then you put the wire into the hole and I guess see if I can show you this and if you notice the wire goes really far up into the scotch lock connector so you want to really put that up there far like that and then you crimp this down now there's a tool for it you could use I've used other things just to set up pliers and that but the beauty of this proper uh, crimping one is that it lays flat on the scotch lock connector and then it is, as you compress it there's actually insulation inside of it a uh, dielectric, an insulator, and the fluid will keep a nice clean connection in there. So that's, as you see now, if I pull that wire, it won't come out. So the beauty of that is you don't have to strip the wires back that you're going to uh, connect. Now I've got a multimeter set up here and I'm going to do a little demonstration. So what I have set up here is the multimeter set to read resistance and I have the positive and negative lead of the multimeter with these wires connected to it. Now I'm going to try to do this without knocking my camera here. I'm kind of in a strategic position. So basically the multimeter is acting like a battery. It's a source of current right now. And if we look on the meter, there's an OL there, over limit. In other words, it's not reading anything. Because basically it's an open circuit. So now, if I get over to the side of my camera here, strategically take my two wires, which we notice are not stripped back, put the scotch lock connector on it, uh, trying to strategically do this without knocking my camera, which is balanced here. So I got one wire in there. As I said, notice it goes really far up into the connector. Slide the other one up. Now, I'm going to crimp that, and you should notice a reading over here on our multimeter. Change. So I crimp that, you see the meter go. Basically it's reading .7 of an ohm, or a short circuit. In other words, there's no resistance to the current because it's coming out of the meter and through this connector. Now. The beauty of it is, I didn't have to strip those wires back. And, if you can see there, there's a little bit of that insulator fluid come right out there. So it makes a nice clean connection and it uh, protects the connection itself. I should mention about these connectors also, uh, depending on what you're doing, they come for different applications, uh, telecommunications, use a lot in telephone work. So what you want to do is uh, look at the box. It's marked the gauge of the uh, wires that they're actually designed for. So just check that over and uh, make sure you're using the proper Scotch lock connector for whatever wiring you're doing. One thing I want to mention here is in real world applications when you're using these Scotch locks, uh, in the case of this hatch I've replaced in this vehicle because the old one is rotted out. There's limited space in here so it's a good idea to stagger them. Don't cut all your wires at the same spot and that way your scotch locks which are relatively big won't end up at the exact same place. So to get them back into the cable protector there they I can lay them down like that, tape them up and get the boot back over them whereas if I had terminated these at the same spot it's going to be pretty big and uh, a little difficult to work around. Final note here, you can really see where the insulating fluid has come out there and as I said that's the great thing about these Scotch Lock connectors. Anyway that's it for this video, thanks for watching.